tonight I'm going to be a drill sergeant. Oh. <laughs> because I really don't know if this is achievable, but are you up for it? Oh, we've got a wedding coming up. We've never ever made a wedding cake before. Are you scared? Then, yes, it might topple over, it might overflow. I don't know, but fingers crossed that it won't. We've got like 40 minutes left, so we kind of need to really rush now. Got potato salad done. You think we're going to make it on time? No. <laughs> This is a series that I've wanted to make for ages. I'm 21 years old now and I don't want to be living on the streets when I'm 25. I want to be successful and have my own business by then, hopefully. I have so much belief in this series. For me, it's what food is all about. Oh, it's on. There's quite a bit of trash talking, but I still think the scones are going to win here. This whole journey has been about the people for me. We'll get our skates on. I'm busting your balls. You're not a bad boss to work for. <laughs> At least you're oh. not pushy or anything like that. That was a well-run kitchen. Organised chaos. You want some sauce or mustard? All the individuals that I've met, every single one has inspired me in, in a different way. Neelix said, oh, you've got disability, so you're not suitable for the job. Now I feel like I've got purpose in my life. Bedford was pure joy. Oh. Maddie was trying to get frustrated with me and he told on me. Maria, he's dobbing me in. Too much time consuming. Paul, oh, you need to work faster. And then, just as he says it, this petal of one of the flowers goes like this and snaps off. <gasps> That's when I just went, oh, OK, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All the challenges had real consequences. Since you're such a great cook and that, why don't you cook for Fred's van? As long as you get to see by 7 o'clock, it'll be OK. I know. Do you think that we're going to cook all these times? Oh, what the hell are we going to the train station? When? <laughs> when? Now, we've got to pack. Well, let's go. If you're not 100% switched on, you could kill yourself. Operation Flinders is the episode that took me most out of my comfort zone. It was really intense. Oh, my God, no. Ah, no! Not after seeing her being like that. Left, no. right, left, right, left, right. You're a diamond! No! Probably one of the most emotionally charged situations I've ever been in my life, actually. What's going right. on? That's enough. Just go and sit over there. Go, go and sit over there. Oi! Oi! Go and sit Stop. over there. Stop go and sit over is... there, all right? I got taken off my mum when I was two. My mum had a mental illness. And then when I was 16, I went and lived on the streets. But it's exactly the way I left it. It's still even got my actual blanket there and everything. Like, oh, really? Yeah. My old mug. Wow. There's a lot. Just shocked to see the squalor that these kids live in. They closed the garbage dump two years ago, but the family still still live on garbage. In wrong the minute we walked into the slums, Scott had told us, look, be willing to burn your shoes, because that's how, you know, filthy it is there. It's very hot here. <laughs> Probably the most rewarding meals I've ever served in my life. The thing that's so beautiful about this series is that it's all about hope. You can do anything you want in this world. You know, every time you smile, you like the room up. <laughs> it's been life changing. Are we ready to be picked up? Yeah! Buses yeah! are on the way! Yeah! Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. man. Oh, well, thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, I want to really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, yeah, you've changed my life. Just seeing how little so many of these people have and how grateful they are is so, so humbling. I'm really grateful that I can carry that with me for the rest of my life. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.